global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today. Of course, um, some few hours ago, uh, the likes of uh, Professor Charles Soludo, who happens to be the governor of Anambra State, had reacted over the several incidents that took place in Anambra State. Uh, while uh, we have, he has actually called for end of sit at home. It looks like. Anambra State is now the center of attraction for UGM. Of course, this is what he has to say after many hours of what happened in several local government areas. And of course, there have been a lot of changes he has made in the quickest possible time. And Simon Ekba also have also decided to tell him this. Well, we're going to wrap all this very news, all of this news into one very quickly. But before we do that, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Let's start with what Soludo said. Well, um, 100%, according to uh, Charles Soludo, 100% of arrested hoodlums causing mayhem in the state are not a number. Well, according to Soludo, so addressing members of the press at Aguata Local Government Area Secretariat, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles C. Soludo, CFR, said that armed criminals have been operating as kidnappers, rapists, and all that, and so on and so forth, for close to two years from camps set up in Aguleze, Chuku, and Oboji. The security personnel in the state clamped on them. And in the process of fleeing, decided to set Aguata local government area headquarters ablaze. He reiterated his stance on offering amnesty to those in the bush so they can be rehabilitated and become useful in the society. But stressed that those who refuse the offer shall face the full wrath of the law because they can't intimidate the people of Anambra State. Mr. Governor further revealed that 85% of these criminals are from a particular state in Southeast, while the remaining 15% come from other states. Items recovered in the camps are registered, uh, are registers of kidnappers, victims. Kidnap victims, weapons, charms, and so on. Professor Charles assured the people that peace and stability must return in Anambra State and in Southeast in general. Anybody in the bush is a criminal and will be treated as such. We will come after criminals because the people's power must triumph. We must create a livable and a prosperous homeland where peace, security, and progress must strive of course um simon ekpa have decided to react to this very quickly well this is what simon ekpa said he said um solido statement that anybody in the bush is a criminal is a total declaration of war against eastern security network asn and we will defend our land if there are criminals go after criminals esn are not criminals this will definitely bring the anger of the entire biafra against you he's talking to to professor charles soludo now he said that he'll be looking at soludo's latest blunder that any person in the bush is a criminal for those thinking soludo is here to fight criminals you now understand better our esn that's eastern security network are in the bush protecting our farmland villages against felony terrorists killing women and children and now they want to bring them out of course this is another move in a moment we're going to find out what they have decided to do to see how they can calm down on the issue of insecurity for the now well this was done to see how they can reduce the level of insecurity going right now in south in southeast and Anambra in particular this is to inform all local government workers that there will be a uh, according to them, that there may likely be um, a shutting down of the local government areas in Anambra State uh, till maybe about 13th of April. So this as a result of our workers and facilities being the target by UGM. The State Executive Council will be convened on Tuesday on emergency to 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 take a decision if if the shutdown will be indefinite. Please ensure that all local government were closed down from henceforth to when as they went sec decision will be communicated to the workers this for the local government areas all this are done to see how they can protect both lives and property and also to see how they can do the needful of securing people now we are getting 
honestly, I pray. I honestly, I'm praying that God would give uh, Professor Charles Soludo the required wisdom to handle this. If there's somebody I don't want to be on, a, I don't want to occupy the shoes. I don't want to wear his shoes. I don't want to occupy the city sitting right now. Is Professor Charles Soludo? Because right now he's torn between, uh, should I, you know, bend to the will of some of these people, or should I um, go ahead take a stand? Because if he does take the stand, yeah, lots of people say it's, it, since he has tried dialoguing, negotiating is not working. It's going to bring him militarization. If he brings him militarization, which everybody says is going to be the last resort, as the case may be. If innocent people go down, they may not forgive him on time. Uh, it's uh, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, really. Uh, he has set up a committee, but then they're really pushing him. Much as he doesn't want to use militarization as the last resort. Look at in the space of how many days he's been in the office. Okay, let's call it probably less than two months, less than six. Just recently he was inaugurated. Less than 60 days. He's... Still complaining that doesn't have enough money to get out for the needs of um, the people of India Nambara. And now we're looking at trying to rebuild infrastructures. Okay, you okay, you are going to protect this local government area. And the next thing you hear, the other local government, uh, local government area, LGA, has been set ablaze. Okay, we're still looking at, okay, sit at home. Let's see how we can abolish it. Okay, we've abolished it. All stakeholders come for a meeting. And the next thing is no longer sit at home on, on Mondays. It's up. any other day, the dim feet. I think there's a message you're trying to pass to Soludo. I think there's a message you're trying to let Professor Charles Soludo know. Or maybe he's not reading between the lines. But I think um, within all this, there's still some persons he could still talk to. People have been talking. A lot of people have been screaming. Burning infrastructure. To what gain? What's the gain really? If, even if you want to... Okay, some said that's the only way they can get the attention of the government or that big government of the people. Burning the infrastructure of the government. But then, at the end of the day, are you cutting your nose to spite your face? Or better still, are you cutting your neck to spite your nose. There are better ways to go about this. I still believe in dialogue. Okay, I still believe. Or, or else people, criminals may take advantage of what is going on, the chaos that is going on, the, the so much, um, you know, unsteadiness, restiveness going on and begin to commit mayhem. Okay, like um, Sam and Ekba is saying that if he's going after those in the bushes who happen to be, if there are only ESN in the bushes, you know, because you may be thinking just the ESN that is in the bushes. Maybe there are other criminal elements also occupying the bushes. So there are so fact, This whole thing is multifaceted. I do not pray to be in issues. I pray for wisdom for him. That's we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. If you were in Soludo's shoes, what would you do differently that he's not?